Welcome to Voyance here in Denmark for round number nine of the SGP. The breaking news is that Bartosz Marslik is out of this round. I heard he was disqualified and I thought he did something very bad. Bartosz Marslik is not competing tonight as a consequence of um, riding in the qualifying today with an incorrect, non-conforming race suit. Didn't have the right logos on it. It's pretty crazy what, what happened uh, to see something like that. You, you never even expected, you know, most of the riders, we don't even have any individual suits that don't have the, the GP stuff on, so it's kind of hard to believe. In the context of the World Championship, Freddie Lindgren, if he were to win tonight, he will only be four points behind the championship leader. Martes knocked on my, uh, on my door in the van and he, and he tells me, you know, he's, uh, he's been disqualified for the meeting uh, and what have happened and I couldn't really believe it. So, you know, he was very, very broken, very broken. In my feeling, the penalty was, was very hard for the, the crime that he had, had, had done. Some dramatic news about the uh, championship leader and the world champion. I was a bit shocked as well. I kind of had to take a few moments to regroup because I still had to, to prepare for, for my night and to, to raise this meeting as good as I, I could do. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was very difficult. It was strange, very strange. carried a lot more speed than Freddie coming into turns three and that's part and parcel of sport. Obviously um, you don't want to see any other rider hurt and luckily Freddie got up and walked away and was able to ride again but myself, uh, I knocked myself out. Um, as soon as I hit the ground uh, I don't remember anything, only waking up on track and obviously a trip to the ambulance straight away and then to the hospital. So I've been crashing a lot lately and it's uh, hard on the body. Simply my bike was not fast enough. Once again, terrific performance from him and Max Frick has come through. That's disaster, Martin Bassett's off. He got himself in a real pickle going into turn one. He pulls the bike away. And only because me and my team put the wrong sprocket on the back wheel and, and other stuff. So uh, uh, it was a lesson for us uh, also. And uh, I hope uh, for the future we will not uh, make the same mistake. And Lindgren's in the mood. He's not in second place in the championship for nothing. No, there's a chance of him uh, being a bit of a spoiler down there. And he'll be uh, very determined indeed. With the opportunity with no smartly here to make the final to really give uh, the round in two weeks time in Torun some real jeopardy. Freddie Lingren takes red gate one. 
Line up for semi final one. Freddie Lingwin on the inside, gate number two for Robert Lambert. Mad Sansonella, gate number three, and Mickelson off gate number four for semi final number one. The rain is coming down, so conditions are going to change here. Just gently raining. Let's hope it doesn't have too much of an impact on the track too quickly. The surface of the track was getting a bit slippery, and my bike might not have been the, the fastest, and yeah, I was a bit too strong. Here we go. Freddie Ling was ruthless out of there, but Mickelson coming through. Now Freddie elects to go to the inside. Really quick decision for fast Freddie Ling was fires himself back to the front. Here comes Mickelson once again around the outside. Lambert now slipping back into third place. Can he get back to second? Freddie Ling was working overtime in front. I won the heat, but you know, I had in my my head like I might not have the speed for the final, but I didn't want to mess things up. I had, was making good start from gate one. Robert Lambert superb in second place, and they're through. Freddie Lingwin looking for the big points, and he's in the final. An opportunity tonight. Jack Holdolts of Blue Gate Two. Next up is Dan Bewley. My mum and dad were over for that one, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. You know, it was a lot of I put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, when they come so far over here to watch, um, you know, it's like please have a good one, please have a good one, and um, yeah, you know, I had a good practice, was the fastest, and then yeah, just all just went on through the meeting. The final two, beauty off the inside. Gate number two for Jack Holder, gate number three for Leon Madsen, and gate number four for Max Frick. Leon Madsen so wants to give the Danish fans here at the Voyen Speedway Centre a Danish winner. Jack Holder's made a terrific start. Oh, oh purely out of shape there, that could cost him dearly. Does he recover? No, he doesn't. He's been swamped down the back straight. Leon Madsen coming through in the second place with Frick on the outside. After Cardiff, I really had to look myself in the mirror, and uh, I felt embarrassed. You know, it was my worst meeting, I think, ever in my in my career in GP. Leon Madsen, what a move it was out of gate number three down the back straight. But Holder out in front, he's going to go through to another final. He's been rock solid for his second in Cardiff, and he's there again in boy, and so is Leon Madsen. I knew I had to bounce back, and I had to do a lot better. Then the lineup for the final here in Voyance tonight. Freddie Lingren off the inside gate. Jack Holder alongside him in gate number two. Leon Madsen out of gate number three. And Robert Lambert off gate number four in the grand final. Right now, it's all about just focusing on the, doing the business in the final. Certainly for that man, huge moment for him in his career. Freddy and I knew I, I had only that one chance to, to make it. Here comes Mads around the outside, Freddy Lingwin very, very, yes he's done it! Madsen still to the front here! I had to go for it and I just, uh, in the last second, I think I closed my eyes a little bit, but I managed to pass him and uh, yeah, after that it was just a uh, wild, you know, I was <laughs> over the moon. Imagine you're winning the GP in front of your home crowd and I haven't won a, a GP in four years or something. The crowd lifted me, you know, I, yeah, I just want to give something back to them and uh, I knew it's something I will remember for the rest of my life. Now, six points. I'm not going to give him the title. I'm going to do everything I can to 
take it. So I'm gonna give everything I have. So I need to try to win the, the, the last GP in Toron. And when I do, we don't, still don't know if that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna do my best, try and win, and, and that's it. position and Lindgren's position, man, the pressure is on them and both have kind of one hand on the title. I think we're going to just going to see some awesome racing, but it's also going to be a lot of nerves playing into the game. I've been racing for a long time, so I've been under pressure many times, but uh, with the stakes of world title on the line, I've never been, I've never been this close. So. I do not expect the crowd to be on my side <laughs> this night for sure, so it's going to be a big challenge for me. For Freddy, if he wins and Bartek doesn't make the final, then it'll be his first world title. Hopefully, you know, it takes a bit of the, the limelight off myself and uh, Martin, you know, it'll be all on Bartek and uh, Freddie. So, yeah, you know, we'll just, I'll just hang around in the background and, you know, do my thing and let them do their own thing. But, um, yes, yeah, definitely going to be tough. No one's going to give an inch out there. Jack Holder and Martin Vassily locked together on 113 points, neck and neck for bronze here tonight. Just give my 100% and if my 100% will give me a bronze medal, I will be super happy. And if my 100% don't give me a bronze medal, it's hard, yeah. I take it what it is, but uh, for 100% I, uh, I'm ready for a fight and uh, I will do my best. What a move from the Slovakian! Super ride from Martin Vassily out in front, he's delighted with it. He wants bronze! It's gonna be a shootout! Push oh, really wide, hold, hold, hold up, brilliant. That's just opened up beautifully. Super ride from Jack. I think this is his best sort of year too, I think, out of his whole GP career. Um, but yeah, you know, he's been in Grand Prix for a while. Um, we want him. And yeah, you know, it all comes down to tonight, so hopefully he has a bad night. Jack Holder selects four yellow. Line up for semi-final one. Smartlick off the inside, gate number two for Robert Lambert. Patrick Duda, gate number three, and Jack Holder goes from the outside. Here we go, Smarzik's made a great start, Lambert's right there alongside him, Lambert gives the, uh, Holder a real shot, Smarzik out in front, there's a lot of work to do for Holder though, as his chances of a bronze medal slipping away here, he's out in the fourth place, he's not going to make the final, Smarzik has ridden superbly well, he's got the crowd on their feet, Smarzik wins the semi-final number one, Jack Holder, well, bitterly disappointed to not make the final, Pressure on this man now, has to make the final, simply has to. 
we go then. Martin Vasilikov the inside in red. Frederick Lingen, gate number two in blue. Yes. Max Trekhada, gate number three in white. And Leon Madsen off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. He could be a spoiler. Takes up now. Lingen's made a fantastic start. Out of gate number two. Superb stuff from him. Vasilikov now being pushed into the red corner. Lingen's got the lead. Gate number three Vashnik is going to be able to reel him in, of course, third place will do it for him yeah. in terms of the uh, bronze medal. Freddie Lindgren, a fabulous ride from fast Freddie when he really needed it. <laughs> Martin Vashnik celebrates, he knows what that means, finishes third in the World Championships. It's for me amazing feeling because it is first medal for me in my life, first medal for uh, Slovakia uh, in a discipline of speedway, so I'm so pleased, so happy. But now it's all about gold and silver in the final. Bartosz Marsley, gate number one, gate number two for Freddie Lindgren, gate three for Patrick Dudek, and gate four for Leon Matson. I am happy because this is maybe my last meeting in Speedway Grand Prix and last final, so uh, I'm fighting all hits, so I am happy. I take 100% today, so it's okay. Okay, guys, good luck. Let's go. We go to the final. If Freddie Lindgren wins and Bartosz Marzic finishes fourth, we will see a runoff. Unbelievable. Another gold medal, but another big different situation for me because they, you know what happened the last uh, two weekends in the Voyens. I feel today first time in my life the, like the, I must do it this. Yeah, no, I'm happy with the second place. This has been my best uh, season so far in my career and I've been very consistent, you know, making finals almost every round and Bartosz is just uh, unbelievable, you know, and he deserves to win. He even, you know, missed one round and still won it. So he's, uh, you know, he's a true fan. still have a lot of motivation and uh, I feel I can, I can still develop myself and be better, so uh, I'm gonna work hard. Bartos!